I'm, uh, I'm using a nine and a half millimeter cutter here, and I'm cutting this through. Uh, I like to use these hole cutters because they make it so perfect. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to switch this cutter to a, a six millimeter cutter and cut the top holes. I already have the pilot hole drilled, so that gives me a very accurate uh, center for each one of these holes. And then I just turn this, act like two little knives in there, cutting my hole. And then you just en elongate the hole if you don't want a perfectly round. Most, most violins I do want a perfectly round. Okay. Um, some of the Guarneri Del Jason models are elongated a little bit, but I really like the appearance of a round hole. And I, I cut from both sides, that way the, it, if there's any, usually there's any tear out, but that keeps the tear out from happening on a surface. I see. You cut both directions here. And uh, my cleaner, or my uh, cutter's a little bit clogged here, there I go. Yeah, just point the cutter. Here it cut through there. Mm-hmm. There. Now you've got your perfect perfect hole at the top. We'll do that again on this side and we'll have that one then. Then I can start in with my knife. I've got this clogged a little bit. You can actually finish up the F hole that way with the knife, huh? Yeah, finish up the F hole with a the knife. Everything from this point will be knife work. Very nice. One of the characteristics of most Del Jaso instruments is that the top hole's a little bit larger than the than the top holes on the strad. Hmm. Now these are these are about six millimeter strad holes. A lot of times are are four and a half to five millimeters at the top. I see. And so uh, beautifully done. Now I'm ready to start cutting the actual F hole out. That's episode two. <laughs>